be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, it's kind of a little bit different than my most videos only because I'm taking you along on kind of how we started the mess and then how we picked up the mess that evening. Then the next couple of days, I do a little bit of deep cleaning in our kitchen some laundry and then because 4th of July is right around the corner I do show you guys a little bit of decorating for the 4th of July so let's jump right in and get started the first thing that I'm cleaning up is this little water table it had been raining for a little while and it had extra water in it so there was mildew all on the bottom but before we set up the sprinklers outside for the girls in our little blow-up pool in the backyard they wanted to play with this water table but I definitely had to get all of the mildew out before they could start playing but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle, and these are my two daughters, Sailor, who is about three and a half, and Savannah, who will be two next month. I say that this video is a little bit different from some of my other videos because I'm just kind of doing whatever chores or tasks need to get done in the evenings uh, every day of the week, opposed to just focusing on one massive disastrous area like I usually do. My videos are all about cleaning and organizing. I'm a newbie organizer, so I kind of take you guys along on a journey of transforming my home and also just keeping up with everyday cleaning and deep cleaning that needs to get done. If you like getting motivation from that type of content, then I really hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. This little water table is great for small kids and toddlers. I got it a couple years ago for I think Sailor's first birthday and they have they love it ever since. So you can just fill it up with water or if it is in the colder months then you can fill it up with sand. Maybe stare too much cause you don't understand you got me go. So it was a beautiful da day that day and we spent the whole Sunday outside. As you can see, we blew up the little mini pool and the girls played in it for hours. Also with that water table and we also played a little bit in the sprinklers. Throughout the day, they ended up going and getting more and more toys to bring outside. Mostly like their bath bucket toys, but I think some other toys got in there as well. So we are going to start cleaning up for the evening. There you'll see Chris, my husband, he's getting buckets of water and sailors following him. They're actually getting the buckets of water and watering some of the plants. If we're not out and about on the weekends, then we typically spend a lot of our summer days outside. Wait a second. I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay too much cause you don't understand. Now 
now we are going to take down the pool for the week. Um, if you if you haven't seen any of my other videos, Chris, my husband, is really big into landscaping and grass, so he hates keeping the pool up because it will kill the grass. Even if we move it around, he just doesn't like having it out. And Sailor had her pajamas on because we were trying to get ready for bed and she wanted to come out and help. So we told her that she could come help pick up and you all know how that goes. So now I'll just finish picking up a little bit, putting the pillows back on the chairs before we move inside and start picking up the whole living room and kitchen area. Before we got lost and we parted. So now that we have everything outside picked up, welcome inside. I have a lot to do in here this evening. I don't typically prefer or like cleaning in the evening because usually by the end of the night I'm just exhausted and if I can just get a little bit done then I'm fine with that so tonight that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pick up the kitchen area and then pick up the mess that was made in the living room because we were mainly outside all day or in and out all day long then I just waited to put the kids to bed before I get all of this area cleaned yes the pink nugget couch is still in our living room I just can't bring myself to get it out. I probably will right before Savannah's birthday party in a couple of weeks, but the girls just love it. I mean, they get all the blankets, they make forts, they're on it all day long. If they're not outside or running around, then they like to sit on this couch. So that's why it's still downstairs for now. Eventually I'll take it upstairs. I know it's not probably the cutest home decor to have right now, but it's very functional and it's a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments below, what does y'all's typical cleaning schedule look like? Meaning, do you have a schedule where you designate a certain day to do things? Like you vacuum on Mondays and you wash all of your clothes on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and you do you know something else on Thursdays? Or do you get everything done during the week? Do you have a specific day on the weekend? Like I know growing up, we would always spend Sundays cleaning. So we would always have to do our vacuuming, dusting and more deep cleaning on Sundays. And do you get it all done in one day or does it, do you spread it out throughout the week? For me, if you haven't noticed already, mine is more sporadic. I just look and see when it needs to be done. Then I will make sure that I try and get it done. Or if someone's coming over, then I'm like, okay, I need them off the floors because someone's coming over, but I don't have a set designated day anymore. And another thing is if it is on the weekends, then I prefer to clean in the morning. If it is during the week, then I prefer to clean things at night. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what your typical schedule looks like. If you have a schedule or if you just kind of go with the flow and clean as needed. Close to him. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. I know it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't ask for much. No, I don't need that much. Yeah. The next two weeks I am going to finish up my kitchen organization project and I am really excited about it so a couple months ago I decluttered our entire the bottom cabinets and most of the drawers in our kitchen and it was 
a really it was a pretty big project and I did not get to the top part of all of the cabinets up top and there's a couple more drawers that I didn't get to so I'm going to finally finish out that project I got a couple new products that have really helped um, keeping like the upper cabinets organized so if you're not already subscribed make sure you're subscribed because that one's going to be really good So on this day, I am done for the night and ready to go to bed. This is a new day and one thing that I noticed that I really wanted to get accomplished this day was cleaning all of the cushions off the nugget, which is the little couch, the little pink couch that we have for the girls and also some of the cushions on our couch. I always put it off doing the cushions on the couch because to me, it's just a pain and feel like it takes forever but in this case our couch really needed it you can't really see it that good but there are stains i think there was milk spilt on the couch that kind of left a stain but one thing i am thankful for is that i can take the cushions off the couch since this is a really light couch we got it when we moved in this house almost six years ago before kids or anything like that so i am thankful that they can be washed we don't need to go on a fast so on our main couch I am only doing a few of the cushions I'm not doing the entire couch but the reason why I zip up the cushions is because there's all these little strings and everything that are in the inside cushions of the couch so whenever I wash them all the strings inside would get all tangled up in the other cushions and all in the washing machine and dryer so I just zip them up that way those all the strings that are inside um, will stay there. So in last week's video I received an overwhelmingly amount of support and I just wanted to thank each and every single one of you. I am truly inspired by all of you. I asked a question in that video and it was, what is one thing that you could tell yourself when you were younger? I got so many good responses and I wanted to just share a few because I thought that they were really inspiring. So Melanie said that the piece of advice I would give myself is to always be hum humble for what I have and always take the negative, spin it to a positive and always be kind. Kawandria said, a word of advice I would give my younger self would be, you are enough just the way you are. Angelia said that she would tell her younger self to try not to please everyone. Denise said that she has two daughters and the things that she would do differently is that she would have played with them much more and would not have not always had to keep a perfect home. Margie said that if she could change one thing, it was that she wishes that she didn't worry so much about heavy, having everything perfect and cleaned up all the time. I wanted to share that because I thought that that was really, really encouraging words of advice and basically just letting the small things go and focusing on what's really important. Time, time, time. So leave me a comment below and let me know the weirdest thing that you have ever found when you've lifted up the cushions in your couch. 
Some of you guys may already know this story because I've told it a couple times before, but if you're new here, the weirdest thing that I ever found when I lifted up my cushions was mouse poop. And yes, it could have been a rat, but I just tell myself that it was a mouse to make me feel better. So I am always a little paranoid every time I lift up our couch cushions. And from that, I've gotten a lot of stories from you guys who have had mice or a mouse in your house before. And it reminded me of this because someone just left a comment a couple days ago and said, do not read this comment while you're eating. So I went back and I read it and she said, one time we had a mouse and the, re the way we found out was that my dog ate it. And all that was left were the legs. I know some of these stories make you go, oh my goodness, but they're also really, really fun to read. And I've also gotten comments from you guys on the best home remedies. So a lot of people said get a cat, which I would get a cat. Chris would not want a cat, but that is definitely a good idea. And second one was peppermint essential oil. I've actually had more than a couple people tell me peppermint that they don't like peppermint so I'm gonna try that out that is actually a really good tip two nights and you think you know me now mm -hmm. two seconds and I might just throw you out While I wait for all the cushions to wash, I'm just getting everything out of the way so that I can vacuum up a little bit. got the pink cushion covers from the nugget all washed and cleaned and now I'm just going to see how hard it is to actually get the cushions back on that couch we just got that little nugget couch a couple weeks ago and I didn't want to wash it right away because you know whenever you take off the cushions the very first time they never tend to fit on exactly the way they were well, that's kind of what I experienced here, but it did have chocolate all over it. I think that the girls got into chocolate syrup one time or and even yogurt. Well, let's just say there's probably a lot of different types of food on this couch, which is why it definitely needed to be cleaned. And I typically don't let the girls like sit on the couches and eat their food. Their table is right next to this area, the table that they eat at, because if you haven't noticed already, we don't have a kitchen table area. We just have a really big island and then the dining room area. So we just have a little table for them to sit at and it's right next to this carpet and right next to the couch. So they're not supposed to be going on the couch with their food or anything, but if they have it all over their hands and then run and jump on the couch real quick, then that's how lots of the messes happen. Which is why sometimes it is a lifesaver to have things that you can unzip and easily wash and put back on. Even if it is a little time consuming. You think you're gonna be rejected Just say you're in love cause so am I So am I So am I Say you So am I So am I Say you So am I So am I Say you So 
I can't believe that we are already in July and I've seen even a lot of the fall decor starting to come in Hobby Lobby and whenever I went to Hobby Lobby to get some of the stuff that I'm making for uh, the 4th of July and decorated a little bit for the 4th of July I was so tempted to start buying some fall decor but it was not 40 or 50 percent off so I was like nah I'm not gonna wait I'm not gonna pay full price I'll wait until um, the sale starts but fall is one of my favorite seasons so I'm excited to decorate this year I don't think I did a great job last year but this year I'm going to get a lot more decorations and hopefully go all out I mainly like fall because all of the festivals like they have like pumpkin patches and all of these different fall festivals and I feel like there's always something going on and fall time here in Texas is when the weather kind of starts cooling down not all the way cool but you know we we kind of get a break from out of the 90s every single day so it's definitely one of my favorite seasons now Christmas is my all-time favorite holiday and um, one of my Christmas videos did really well last year while I was decorating like everything that I was trying to make perfect went wrong So I just went with the flow and made a video about it But it's funny because I saw somebody comment and said if you're not already subscribed make sure you're subscribed Just for her Christmas video And yes, I do go over the top for Christmas. So don't worry guys this year's Christmas video will not disappoint so you guys go ahead and let me know what is your favorite season and what is your favorite holiday to decorate for. You think you're gonna be rejected. Next, I'm going to clean up this console table a little bit, but I wanted to share with you guys the roses that I received from Rose Forever New York. I actually received these roses almost two months ago and they are still really fresh and smell so good even after having them for that long. Rose Forever is a handmade rose bouquet made of real roses that are designed to last for up to a year. They have a variety of different colors and different shaped boxes and it can make for a beautiful piece of home decor or a gift for anyone. I chose the light pink roses and I always get tons of compliments on them whenever someone comes over. If you are looking to have a beautiful piece of real roses that will last up to a year, then be sure to use the link below in my description box and use code MICHELLEO20 for $20 off your next bouquet. So while I finish putting the cushions back on the couch, I wanted to talk about a comment I received that really moved me. So she wrote me a comment and I think I was talking about um, maybe a, um, a negative comment that I had received on a previous video and she said something along the lines of don't listen to the negative comments you don't understand that your videos and then she named a few others are the only thing that keep me getting up in the morning after struggling with major depression and not being able to get up after several days. It really moved me because in one of my videos, I had mentioned that I grew up with a lot of depression as a child and as a teenager. And I know it's easy to look at someone like myself on YouTube and say, oh, look at that perfect little family. They have it together all the time. And the truth is, is that I don't have it together all the time, but I can say that I'm not in that space anymore. And I'm not gonna say, that all you have to do is get up and get motivated and then you won't be depressed anymore because that is very, very far from the truth. Getting up and get moving, I've talked about how exercise has actually helped me a lot mentally. Those are absolutely helpful tips, but there is one thing overall that really, really helped over the course of several years to help me get to a good space. Now, Natalie Hodson is a mentor of mine, and she says, your identity is the story we tell ourselves about ourselves. So if you have been feeling thoughts of negativity about yourself or really struggling inside, then years and years of that is not easy to just cure overnight. In the end, your thoughts are either what you are going to succumb to 
or overcome. And I hope that each of you are able to overcome those negative thoughts. Now things like having a gratitude list, um, getting up, doing physical things like making your bed, creating habits around that, morning prayer, all of these things are going to be small steps to overcoming or hopefully overcoming depression. But one thing that I read that I thought was super helpful to taking that first step on where to start, and it's a tip that I've heard from Mel Robbins. Her story is pretty amazing if you haven't heard of it before. Um, she talks about struggling financially and being in a very negative space. To she couldn't get out of bed in the mornings, and then her story is about how one of the rockets were going off that day from NASA, and right before it went off, they counted down from five, and then they did the five, four, three, two, one takeoff. And she told herself the next day that when her alarm clock goes off, she's going to make the conscious choice to count down from five and then get out of bed that day. Next day, she did that and she has gone on and the next day she did the same thing. And they, she did a lot of studies that um, the neurological you know, factors in the brain actually either within five seconds, you either hesitate to do something or you back out of it and within that five seconds you can actually retrain your brain to think a different thought hence also changing from a negative to a positive like I'm not worth it I'm not gonna get out of bed today nothing I do matters to counting down from five and changing your thought to I'm going to accomplish something today I believe in myself I thought that that was a great tactic to share and also never ever be afraid to ask for help Vision. We held on to so tight To me it was clear that you lied to me No, I keep thinking What's a waste in my So this is not typical that I include Chris mowing the yard But we are picking the tomatoes off of our tomato plant And mowing actually feels like vacuuming to me sometimes Where there's like the vacuum lines and the mowing lines So while I'm obsessed with like the vacuum lines, Chris is obsessed with the yard and our mowing lines. So I put this clip on because I thought that it looked really, really cool to see him mow our yard in fast forwarded. These are all the small tomatoes that we ended up picking that evening. I received my essential oil box in from Simply Earth and I really, really, really like this company. I think that they are just a really fun company. Each individual box is packaged by either a person or a team and they have a sticker with their picture and it's just really, it's a really fun community. Also, 13% of their profits go towards ending human trafficking, and they really stand for a good cause. This month's theme is family friendly, and it came with six different recipes, which include a self-care lotion, a lavender, hydrosol, everything spray, a mama inhaler, the homebody carpet powder, road trip roll-on, and hospital diffuser blend. And actually my favorite thing about Simply Earth is that they do provide these recipes so that not only do you get the essential oils at an affordable price, you actually get the recipes on how to make different things with them. I'm going to make the Mama Inhaler, which is super simple and it's supposed to bring a sense of calmness to you. So I know all of you mamas out there can use this. So you just mix one drop of the spearmint essential oil, three drops of the cedar wood, and five drops of the grapefruit into the little dispenser that they gave you, and then you just inhale. Another thing I like about Simply Earth is that it is extremely affordable. So with all of these four essential oils, plus all of the recipes and everything that they provide for you to make the recipes, the value of this box is about $115 and this they sell this box for only $39. And the really cool thing is that if you use my code down below, then your second box, you get a $40 gift card, which pays for the box itself. 
So if you did use my code last month and ordered the garden box, then this month's family friendly box is going to be absolutely free to you. And if you go ahead and order this month's box, then next month you'll receive the $40 gift card and your next month's box will be free. It really is an incredible value and I have a lot of fun making all the different recipes. So the last thing I'm doing is I'm going to decorate a little bit. I bought a couple extra flower arrangements to go in those pots. And since the 4th of July is coming up, I stopped by Hobby Lobby and got a couple things to make a few red, white, and blue arrangements. The thing I love about doing like different flower arrangements is that you can just swap out the colors for whatever season it is. So Hobby Lobby was having a buy one or a half off of all the flower arrangements sale. So I went through and picked out a couple different types of flowers um, that were red, white, and blue. And my initial plan was to either put these flowers in the two clear vases that I have, or I ended up buying that white pot um, and just do like one big arrangement in there. My initial thought, the thing with the clear vases that they're in now, and I'm swapping them over to the white vase, was that I didn't like that you could see the stems down below, which is why I bought that white vase. But later on, I eventually went back to the store and filled up those vases too, and I think that it looks really nice. I'm just kind of rearranging the flowers to get them at different heights because I think it makes the flowers and bouquets look a little more flashy when they're all different kind of heights, sizes, and designs. You feel so far away. I ended up keeping it in the white vase and I really liked the way it turned out. I also got that little USA sign from Hobby Lobby and put it in front of the little bouquet and I think that it turned out really nice. Another thing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that I like to do is make wreaths. I actually made a fall wreath last year. I've made um, a couple different ones. I've made a Mickey Mouse kind of themed wreath before. I made a different fall themed wreath before. I don't think I've made a Christmas wreath, but not that they're super, super beautiful turning out. I just make them super simple. So I just buy a um, stem of flowers from Hobby Lobby that are 50% off. This one I just bought already pre the pre-greenery wreath. Usually I've never bought one like that before. I, I put more work into it and make it um, prettier. But here, this is just so easy. You just cut the stems off of the already pre-made flower arrangement and then just glue them on. There was an already pre-made ribbon wreath that was red, white, and blue at Hobby Lobby, but I didn't necessarily like it. And that's why I decided just to make this flower one. That way it will kind of go with the flowers that I put in that white vase and kind of go with the little theme I have going in our house. I initially was just going to stop there, but I really liked the way that those clear vases turned out. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and bought a couple more arrangements and I wanted to make these um, a little bit fuller and also add some red, white, and blue to those too. The white cherry blossom stems I already had in there from springtime. So basically I just added the blue, I think those are blue bonnets. I'm not sure what type of flower they are. I know I'm bad with flowers. Um, and then the red ones. The next thing I got was some ribbon. That was really the only ribbon I saw at Hobby Lobby, it's kind of like a burlap-y, but I decided to just um, make bows and then put them onto those two little wreaths I have on the side of the wall. I just use a little pipe cleaner to attach it to the actual wreath. I ended up doing the same thing with the other wreath, and what I like about that is because, because my house is kind of plain colors, I went with a lot of neutrals. I like adding the color um, it's just simple, but it goes with whatever holiday or whatever theme is going on. It was super simple and easy, and I liked the way that it turned out. The last thing I'm doing is making the Hospitality Diffuser Blend from my Simply Earth 
essential oil box but thank you guys so much for watching i know this was a little bit longer video but i really appreciate all of your support and if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure that you're subscribed i will see all of you guys in next week's video